Fueled by exploding stardom and new technologies, rock in the 70s changed, transformed, and survived. There are lots of different technologies in rock music. Now, there are the high-tech, like big recording studios, but there are the low-tech, sort of retro things, like martial amps, you know. To a guitar player, that's technology. I wanted the guitar because of the music that was being played on guitar. If you're a guy, of course, it seems real attractive to be uh, up there playing the guitar or singing. I just had this fascination with electric guitar. It was the way it sounded and the way it felt. The guitar is like an old friend. It has been many times like the only friend that was really there for me, there with me. So you can lose the drums. You can lose the bass. You can even lose the voice. And that leaves the guitar. Yet it's still rock and roll. The electric guitar defined rock and roll, giving it a sound that was completely different from any other music. What is it about the electric guitar that has made it the symbol of an era? To understand what, why the guitar became so much a symbol of a generation, you have to pick one up, hold it, plug it into a Marshall stack and hit a chord and then you know. When you're playing the guitar, it's an extension of your passions. And the fact that six strings can be, be used in so many different ways. It's an extension of myself. It's part of me. I think it's like telling a story. you got to have a punchline. In some fashion, you wanted to communicate your feelings to somebody, you know, what you had to say. Uh, you wanted to talk to somebody, you didn't know how to do it, or somebody just wouldn't listen you know, until you had the guitar in your hand. So what would rock and roll be like without the electric guitar? Without the electric guitar, no rock and roll. No way. It is a complete entity of music. You can play the chord, you can play the melody, you can accompany yourself. It is every, it's the perfect musical instrument. And I was going to teach this friend of mine how to do this. And he couldn't do it. So I said, you know, pardon, pardon the, the thing, but you have to say just, Hey, mother... You're, you're always cursing and you're always praying and you're always making love. It ain't do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do. The use of the Latin rhythms that are very sophisticated and, and very sensual and very body-oriented and has managed to synthesize a style of blues guitar, you have to bare your soul to the people that you're playing for because if you're gonna communicate things from deep inside you, you have to give up that barrier. Carlos is great at that. If there's about 100 million musicians, most of them sound a lot alike, but there's about 100 who you immediately from one note, you can tell who they are. When you get inside the note, uh, you immediately put your fingerprints on it. You know, you, you're, you're, you're making your own individual, unique statement. Your sound really comes from within. The guitars and the amplifiers, it's an, it's an extension. I really believe it's a God-given thing. I don't think it's something you can just chip and polish and, and work on it like that. I, I think it's something that you, you're born with.
Jeff.